and I know we've talked a little bit about the fact that in my office, of course, I use macros and macro sets that speed yep. up the note side because that's, again, a common question is how fast is it? You know, will mm -hmm. it handle my volume? Um, and that, that's been tremendous. And it's also been tremendous in having a multi-doc office is the continuity. So with your system, we have that continuity um, that our notes are the same. Uh, everything flows uh, amongst us very well. And for the docs that, that see this video that even uh, consider or have multiple clinics, you know, the same thing uh, goes, this is very scalable. Uh, and that's a huge value rather than you going out and having to continually input more money. And I can just off the top of my head start thinking of, uh, this is kind of another one of my bullet points that comes up, but you know, server costs and complicated computer systems and networks and all of these things, which really start to lose communication amongst the team often yes. help it as well as the, the major expense for the doctor. So any comments there? Yeah, well, documentation, um, just our standard documentation, you can create uh, in most visits a note in about 15 seconds. That is not only your note, but it is also your diagnosis procedure codes and the claim is to the insurance company when you're done. Um, so that screen has everything, including x-rays if you want and everything on that screen. But you are, you have a compliant note finished in 15 seconds, you're out. Like I told you, I started in a high volume uh, practice. Um, so, and our first clients were really high volume, 1500 a week. Yeah, you started using Genesis. So we built it on, in, on day one, knowing um, with high volume in mind and with um, the speed concept in mind. Now that doesn't mean I'm, you have to be a high volume doctor if you have anything against being high volume. It just means that it works that fast because it had to work that fast on day one. Um, so for documentation, just the normal documentation system is, is lightning fast. You add up even a minute per visit, um, in a decent sized practice, it's hours, hours and hours per month. And then per year, if you have a career, it could save you months out of your life, not sitting in front of that screen. And that, that when I look at, and we say revenue and retention and compliance, but the number one thing is Genesis decreases the doctor's, um, personal time by 33% by combination of things, decreasing how much management time you have, decreasing how much documentation time you have, um, and combining all those things, it drastically reduces. But one thing you mentioned was uh, macros, and Dr. Davila created some really nice macros that um, are important for several reasons. One, that they are fast. Um, the I think the most important thing, when I talk to doctors like you that have multiple um, either practitioners in their practice or they want to open other practices or they already have other practices. I tend to, to recommend that they get uh, the macros installed and, and you purchase them from uh, Dr. Davila um, because for exactly what you said, it, it, compliance is too big of an issue. It, it's, it's almost like an insurance policy. Davila is the guy for compliance. So you're kind of outsourcing, making sure your notes um, stay compliant. So as ICD, when ICD-10 came out or new things come out, he's updating the macros so that when you're documenting your visits, it's fast, but it's also up to date with the most relevant compliance issues out there. Um, I'm a huge fan. I don't know if you ever read the E-Myth Revisited. Um, it's a book that every business owner should own. And, and the basic concept is you should build a business to be sellable. And if what that mean? What, what that would mean is that if if your business depends on you being in there to get things done right, it's not really sellable. It's more of a job. Uh, it's great. I mean, they're great. Chiropractic offices are great businesses, and you could be you can own the job all your life and make a ton of money, and that's all great. But the concept is just making things much more efficient and streamlined, and reproducible, and what you, and the way you mentioned is scalable, um, so that you can plug somebody else in. Um, maybe as you're getting older and you want to hire an associate or you're looking to transition and sell the practice, it becomes much more sellable and easy to transfer to somebody else when it's a couple of buttons that they have to remember. Definitely when you have more than one doc in there because, you, you know, as the owner of a practice with multiple doctors or multiple clinics, the liability is on you ultimately one way or another if that doctor does not document properly. So you got let's say three doctors, all of them have their own ideas about what is compliant. 
that's not a good place to be. Uh, everybody has crazy ideas. Oh, I think it needs to say this. Now just do what is compliant. And using macros is one way to kind of systematize, making sure everybody does the same thing and stays compliant. And then that removes the burden and the liability from you. Right. Yeah. And that's the part you touched on a percentage of personal time you get back. And so in our office, I know once we got through the transition phase, uh, obviously that's always involved with software. It was yep. amazing because when we leave the office at the end of the day, I know that everything is accomplished. All the notes are done. They will never be gone back. You know, we will never go back to them. They are signed off. Uh, when, if they were requested, the girls are going to respond and get them out. I mean, there's not this stack that I know a lot of guys have or have had where, I, oh yeah, hey, we need notes on this patient. There was right. a request, which we all know is not really the compliant way. And we also know it's the very stressful way that you oh, have man, that's brutal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 35 visits of notes on your weekend. And not only is it, not only is that time, uh, Mike, just brutal to have to do, but you, um, that's constantly in the back of your head. That's constantly weighing on you. You know, and I also say to doctors a lot of times that like when you talk about compliance, how would you, here's the way you know whether or not you need a better system. Um, if, if you were to get an audit letter in the mail, Today, how would you sleep tonight? That's right. it. Yeah. If it's not good, then you got to do something different. <laughs> I felt that little hiccup from <laughs> the past, and I don't have that anymore um, at all. And that's a great feeling to go, okay, well, we got it. What do you want? Here it is. Yeah, one thing I remember you mentioned to me is like, you're like, uh, for the, yeah, all of a sudden I could actually think about opening another practice because, you know, you think of all these things that you have to get pe train people on and all. And if you just eliminate documentation and billing from being complicated to train people on, you're super scalable all of a sudden. Yeah, um, well, you kind of lead me into the next point because I'm, I'm looking here at the bullet points of thinking um, some of the doctors that I know are going to listen to this are used to having to have updates, schedule updates, schedule times, upgrade equipment, and all these other things. Uh, so kind of speak to the fact that you guys are, uh, you, you touched on it earlier that you're cloud-based but yeah. also the fact of uh, how the updates are handled and, and all that's required uh, from your user on that. Uh, yeah, all that's required. All right, yeah, so being in the cloud. For you to hit it out of the park on this yeah. one. <laughs> um, yeah, so we started in the cloud, you know, like I said, 12 years ago. So that was unheard of at the time, uh, especially doing billing. But what that means is, First of all, it's browser-based. So the way I like to explain it is if you were to go to Genesis today and click login, it's like going to your bank online and clicking login. You have, except when you log in, you have your entire practice, your schedule, your documentation, you have everything. And it's on whatever browser you're in and on any computer. So you can be on a Mac or a PC or uh, any, any computer, any type of device, just opening, you're opening a browser and logging in, just like you log into any other system or QuickBooks online or things like that. Just when you log in, you have access to it. So that means you have 24 seven access to anything, anytime, anywhere on your phone, um, anywhere. It also means that you don't need a server in your office. You don't need a, you know, typically there's two types of systems. There's cloud like Genesis and there's cl what's called client server, meaning the server is at the client's office. So what you typically have to do with other systems is you put the server in your office and then you load the software for that, um, that uh, software on that server and then you have to network all of your computers to that server and you have to load the software on all of those computers so now when when there's an update in the software you have to um, download <laughs> I'm trying to remember the whole process but you have to download the update to your server and update all your computers and this all takes time and it's really not necessary it's just all that takes time plus you have to have the expense of the server so a server costs somewhere between three and 5,000 bucks, and that's gonna go, you gotta replace that every five years. Another, actually, I don't think to say this often, but um, because it is client server based, the more patients you see over time, the slower it gets. <laughs> a lot of people think that the cloud is slower, but it's actually the client server that is slower, and it gets slower over time. And a lot of systems you'll see that, you know, go to open a patient, and all of a sudden, after a few years of using it, it takes forever to open a 
a chart, that's because the system, when you're actually running a query for that patient, it has to look through every patient you've ever had before it finds the one. So there's a, you know, there's a technology to that, but it takes longer. Um, so yeah, with Genesis in the cloud, all the updates are in real time and it's just, you open your system today and it's brand new, whatever it is there. Well, I wanted to bring that up because again, I know some of the people that are gonna see these videos um, are gonna realize, I mean, I've spent nights at the office, I'm talking like 3 a.m. kind of nights, yes. servers, or I've spent thousands of dollars on IT people because of the complication and getting that done. So to know that I'm gonna log in and it's just what it is, or if I have a computer go down, um, I can run down the street and buy a computer at Best Buy, just come back, set it on my desk, plug it in and log in and I'm good to go. It's yeah. not a daunting thing. You know, Mike, that's an important point because a lot of younger docs and we have a Kickstarter program for special pricing for new docs. But one thing that's really nice about this is you're a new practice. You can start with a laptop. You just open that thing and log in and you're scheduling patients, you're seeing your patients, you're doing everything off of that laptop. You No servers, no hardware, no nothing. You're And, and that way, Genesis is also scalable for, from a hardware perspective. The bigger you get, the more hardware you, you, you add. You know, as you get bigger and bigger, you add the check-in kiosk and the table side kiosk and big touch screens and all that. But a new doc, you don't want to have to spend thousands of dollars on hardware and take out a loan and put a credit card down for your brand new doc. You just want to get some patients in. So you you pop open your laptop and you're in business. You just log in. Right. Um, one thing you mentioned there, I'm trying to remember what it was. We talked about her. Oh well, you know, one thing to remember with servers is, like you said, they do crash. There's a lot of liability there. Just um, they they do crash with Genesis. You're basically outsourcing that headache. Um, it's just not there. It's going to happen no matter what. If you have a client server system, your your server will crash, um, and you're going to be stuck where you're not an expert in servers. You have would have no idea how to find what the issue was, and then you usually have to hire somebody to come in and fix it. And hopefully you backed up your data, and hopefully all that stuff. But um, you know, trying to get that thing up and running. With Genesis, we're in the cloud. We have um, triple redundancy. Every, everything is backed up every three seconds. So even if we have servers too, obviously they can crash, but even with one crash of one server, we have two others going at all times. And it's in a HIPAA compliant data center where there's 24 seven staff there to replace that server immediately. So that, that stuff happens, it happens in every business and it happens to our servers. But, you know, obviously we're triple redundant backing up and we back up in another site, offsite, in another state for um, disaster recovery issues. But uh, yeah, well, it's a huge, simple thing. And I, as I'm sitting here and we're filming this, you know, I, I could actually log in right now and see who is in my office. I can see the patients that have checked in. I can access everything. And that's been something that honestly I've had to get used to the fact that I didn't have to log in to, and you know through my computers i could just log in directly in the software and see exactly what the status of my uh office is right now whether i'm at home and want to check it whether i was on vacation and want to check it uh yeah. whatever the case may be and that's also been a, a really cool uh feature that i had to get used to honestly because coming yeah. into that server mindset yeah a lot of um we have a lot of clients that their their spouse or significant other was uh the biller or the follow-up person or just manager um, and uh, I, don't, I don't think Paige does that with you, does he? Does she? No. Um, you know, what it was for them is all of a sudden, she's <laughs> he's like, no. <laughs> I think you should do it now. Yeah, um, yeah but it gives, it gives that other person just so much more transparency without having to be on site. They can, if they were doing some follow-up or they were keeping track of the billing or they're just making sure that no-shows and stuff were being followed up on, it's a it's a great advantage to be able to be home and, and do that Absolutely. And things like that well, you know, program new docs um, and i just want to make sure that we tie that together because i have new docs and and we have a lot of relationships with students as they're coming through school and getting out not only okay. the, the hardware cost you know we talked about that um but what we talked about initially was uh, the ability from the billing side and again so right now a doc can come out he doesn't have to pay this he or she doesn't have to pay this high dollar staff person 
that they think is going to be there forever, right? This is right. the one person they're going to hire and it's going to run their clinic for 20 years and know everything about insurance. Right. And they go through this training cycle. They try to get up to speed or maybe they're overpaying with money they don't have. And then that person walks and then yes. they're right back to ground zero. So for yeah. some newer docs, the, I wish I would have had the security of that on the backside going, you know, I just, I may need a, if I need somebody, I may need a CA that can be somewhat of a receptionist and really a true CA, right? A true CA and the, yeah. uh, hey, you're here to take care of patients. They've got this stuff. We need to focus on this. And then as the office grows, if, if there's more learning and education and things you want to take on, that's one thing, but it's a lot different scenario than uh, being, you know, force fed or having your finances on the line and, and really yeah. no hostage there. And be in a very complicated thing uh, that you have nothing that you don't know anything about. Uh, right. you know, train somebody on what you know, you know, train somebody on chiropractic on, you know, the procedures that you guys train on, on, on the day ones and day twos and the report of findings and however you, whatever your process is, train them on that and, and pour into them in that, into that way and, and get them pumped up on philosophy and, and what this whole, and your mission and your vision and all that. But hiring an insurance person and trying to manage them when you don't even know um, anything about that, it doesn't make, it doesn't make sense. And even if, even if you got up and running and you had, you're doing great and you have one person, the next hire, who's that going to be? Is that going to be a biller? No, it really should be a marketing person, somebody that's going to go out and set up your events and manage all that, or another CA or, or a tech CA or something that takes the burden off of you. With outsourcing your billing, you never have to worry about that. You're just, you're just going at building the business that you're an expert in. Right. Well, you kind of yeah. leave me right in the next thing. 